It's breaking news. Sources tell CBS News New York Mayor Eric Adams has been indicted following a federal corruption probe. He would make history as the first sitting New York City mayor to face criminal charges. Natalie Dudridge begins our team coverage from Gracie Mansion with everything we need to know on this case. Natalie. Chris Mary, good morning. Well, first off, quiet here now, except for us media and the NYPD, and we are certainly keeping our eye on Gracie Mansion and out for Mayor Adams, who, as sources say, could appear in court as soon as this morning. Now, as for the indictment, it remains sealed, so it's unclear what charges Adams will face. This all comes after several investigations into the mayor and members of his administration, which has been going on for nearly a year now. Earlier this week, Adams was asked if he was going to resign. He rejected the idea and said he was looking forward to running for re-election. Mayor Adams released a taped video message from Gracie Mansion last night. My fellow New Yorkers, it is now my belief that the federal government intends to charge me with crimes. If so, these charges will be entirely false based on lies. But they would not be surprising. I always knew that if I stood my ground for all of you, that I would be a target. And a target I became. For months, leaks and rumors have been aimed at me in an attempt to undermine my credibility and paint me as guilty. Governor Kathy Hochul does have the ability to remove Adams from office, and our political reporter Marsha Kramer says there will be pressure on her to do so. The mayor has many positions to fill due to all the recent resignations and may have a hard time filling them due to this situation. Now, if Adams were to resign or be removed by the governor, public advocate Jumani Williams would take over on an interim basis and would have three days to call for a special election that would then have to be held within 80 days. Now, as for the investigations, federal authorities Authorities have been scrutinizing donations to Adams 2021 mayoral campaign from people connected to the Turkish government. Sources say a new round of subpoenas were delivered to Adams' lawyers seeking information related to dealings with Israel, China, Qatar, South Korea, and Uzbekistan. There are also federal investigations into former NYPD Commissioner Edward Caban, who since resigned, as well as Deputy Mayor for Public Safety Philip Banks, his brother, Schools Chancellor David Banks, and partner, First Deputy Mayor. Mayor Sheena Wright. David Banks announced his retirement, but insisted he previously told Adams about it prior to these investigations taking place. So again, Chris and Mary, a lot to unpack in the coming days. And back out here, still quiet, that once again, Adams could appear in court as soon as this morning. We're on the Upper East Side. Natalie Dudridge, CBS News, New York. Okay, Natalie, thank you. And we'll get back to you shortly. Reaction pouring into the news that Mayor Adams is facing a federal indictment. Now some leading political figures calling on the mayor to resign. Christina Fan is live at Federal Plaza in Lower Manhattan, where this morning we're awaiting the possible unsealing of the indictment by federal prosecutors. Christina. Well, Mary and Chris, since news of the indictment broke, there's been an avalanche of calls calling on Mayor Adams to resign. Many of those voices coming from within his own political party, including those who are running against him in next year's Democratic primary. One of them, Brad Lander, is the current city comptroller who is running for mayor. He said in part that Adams deserves due process. However, it is clear that defending himself against serious federal charges require a significant amount of time and attention. The most appropriate path forward is for him to step down. Several council members, including Robert Holden, Tiffany Caban, and Sandy Nurse, released similar statements expressing doubt Adams can still run the city. Caban, who called on the mayor to resign a week ago, wrote he is unable to effectively lead and govern while he awaits his right to due process. He must resign. State Senator John Liu also chimed in, writing the people of New York need a mayor who is able to devote full time and full energy to putting the city on the right track, including recruitment and retention of top leadership for the city. Mayor Adams is simply unable to do that for the foreseeable future. Now, hours before news of the indictment came down, House Minority Speaker Hakeem Jeffries did speak up in support of Mayor Adams, but he has not publicly commented since then. Reporting live from Lower Manhattan, Christina Fan, CBS News, New York. Okay, Christina, thank you. Stay with CBS News New York as we continue to cover this historic indictment. Also on our website, cbsnewyork.com, you'll find all of our coverage, including a breakdown of who's who in this entire investigation.